We've created a wine compass in O'Brien's to categorise the different styles of wine so that you can find your own style. Juicy Lively Reds. This category in our wine compass in O'Brien's basically refers to lighter styles of red. Red wines with moderate alcohol and in terms of fruit and flavour profile, we're thinking about crunchy, bright fruit with touches of acidity there. So if we look at aroma and flavour separately, obviously aroma and flavour are not added to wines. These are just the aromas and the flavour sensations that you get from the grapes when you taste the wine. So for this category, aroma and flavour, the types of notes that we're looking for would be raspberry, strawberry, perhaps cranberry, maybe a hint of floral such as violet, and then possibly a touch of nutmeg towards the end. So we're starting first of all with a dolcetto from Italy. I'm checking the colour against my white background and I can see that it's almost opaque with gorgeous slightly pinky purple rim. And that suggests that this is quite a youthful wine. It suggests also that this wine is not going to be too concentrated or too heavy. The flavours and cut and aromas that we're looking for, as I say, would be raspberries, strawberries, perhaps cranberries, so very much on the red fruit profile for Juicy Lively Reds. Crunchy red fruits, and then structurally, we'd be looking for, yes, moderate alcohol and tannin. Tannin, that coating sensation that you get on the gums and on the teeth, is if you've left a tea bag in a teacup for too long, then that sensation with this range of wines in the Juicy Lively Red category shouldn't be too powerful. The tannin should be quite integrated and not so obvious. So this Dolcetto, we've definitely got raspberries and strawberries, very summery red fruits here. Crunchy red fruit flavours on the palate. The tannin is there, but it's very gentle. And the overriding sensation in this wine is the acidity. It's fresh, it's crisp, keeps the wine clean. And that's why we have this wine in our Juicy Lively Red category. Because it's juicy and it's lively and it's red. You get the idea. Number two then is a Fleury. And this is from Beaujolais in France. So a real classic style of a lighter red wine. So moderate alcohol. Again, very much raspberries and strawberries. But this time I am getting that hint a bit more savoury, such as a nutmeg note in the Beaujolais. Fleury is a specific village within the Beaujolais region and all Fleury wines are made from Gamay. And Gamay typically makes a lighter style of red, typically is fermented in stainless steel and often does not have any oak aging at all. So the wine tends to be fresh and crisp and lively on the palate. Absolutely delicious, fresh, lively, very summery flavours and this style of wine is perfect for food matching. Number three, reminding again, just have a quick look at the colour here. And not as purple pink as the Dolcetto, slightly deeper in colour, but very much you can see all the way through the wine, because this is Pinot Noir. So this is a thin skinned grape variety. It sits beautifully in our Juicy Lively Reds. Again, moderate alcohol. Later from Chile, this, these grapes are grown in a cool climate wine region in Chile, right beside the Pacific. So you have the cooling sea breezes and the, you also have the fog rolling in off the Pacific Ocean, which keeps the, the sunshine while it's on the grapes. It quite often doesn't appear until, say, 12, 1 in the afternoon. So it really protects the grapes in the morning from hot sun. So Pinot Noir, lashings and lashings of strawberry, of raspberry, of cranberry, concentrated, really, really fruit forward style here and a, quite aromatic as well in terms of floral aromas. So you definitely get the violets coming through in this Pinot Noir. It's crunchy, it's crisp, some slightly mouth-watering acidity on the edges of the tongue, keeping everything fresh and clean. And that sums up our juicy, lively reds.